people, all you super geniuses out there. Welcome to another video lecture from Super Genius 99. Today we'll be talking about function compositions. And let's read the instructions. And the instructions say, use the graphs of f and g to construct a table of values and sketch the graph of the indicated function. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do uh, f plus g. So what are we going to do? We're going to take a point. We're going to look at the x value of x and then the g value of x at a certain point. And we are going to construct uh, the addition. So we're going to do a summation of two functions. Okay, so let's uh, let's do some and then you'll probably get the hang of it and be able to do your own. Okay, so we're going to start off with f of g of x of negative 4. So I think that's as far as this goes. So negative 4. Okay, so f of negative 4 is what? So we're going to do f of negative 4 plus g of negative 4, and the result will be over here. So f of negative 4 is, as you can see over here, negative 1. And g of negative 4 is 0. So f of negative 4 is negative 1. g of negative 4 is 0. So it's negative 1 plus 0. negative 1. All right, how about the next one? f of negative 3, let's do negative 3. f of negative 3 is, is 0. f of g of negative 1, g of negative 3 is a negative 1. So once again, what is 0 plus negative 1? That just so happens to be it this time. Negative 1. Okay. F of negative 2 is 0. You see here's, here's F. X is negative 2. Y is 0. So F of negative 2 is 0. Whereas G of negative 2 right there. It's 0. So F of negative 2 plus G of negative 2 is 0 plus 0. I should write this down, right? Okay, so I'll write up here. F of negative 2 plus G of negative 2. So where is F of negative 2? Right there, and you notice on the graph it's 0. And G of negative 2, here's G, X is negative 2, so what is the y corresponding value of negative 2 on the g function? It is also 0. And 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay, I'll, I'll write them down for you from now on. Don't want you confused. Okay. Now let's construct f of g of negative 1. So we just asked ourselves, what is f of negative 1 plus g of negative 1? Okay. And that's what I did with the previous two, even though I kind of jumped right into it. I'm a jumper. Okay, so we just go into the f graph and say when x is negative 1, what is y? Well, when x is negative 1, y is negative 1 on the f function. And then we say, okay, on the g function, when x is negative 1, what is y? Well, here x is negative 1, y is 2. Remember, I see that negative 1, y is, ne is 2. So it is negative 1 plus 2, 1. And so we put a 1 here. Okay. And now we're going to do 
f plus g where x is 0. The function f plus the function g where x is 0. Okay, so what you're really saying is what is f of 0 plus g of 0, which means when x is 0 on the f function, what is the corresponding y value? When 0 is the input on the f function, what is the output? Well, when f is 0, when x is 0 on the f function graph, y is 1, 2, 3. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, when g is 0, on the when x is 0 on the g graph y is 1 right there so 3 plus 1 is 4 okay and we're just going to do this all the way to uh, for all the x values that are shown here okay so how about you can probably guess the next one we're going to do right is 1 f of 1 plus g of 1. Okay. f of 1 plus g of 1. So what is the corresponding y value when x is 1 in the f function? What is the corresponding y value when x is 1 on the f function? In this case it happens to be 1. What is the corresponding y value when x is 1 on the g function? Here's your d function. Here's what x is 1. What is the y value? What is 1 plus 0? Okay. And then we're going to do all the way, I'll just write in here, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so now let's go to f of 2 and x of 2. So f of 2 plus g of 2. Okay, so what is the corresponding y value when x is 2 in the f function? Here x is 2, what is y? 0. What is the corresponding y value when x is 2 on the g function? When x is 2, y is negative 2 on the g function. So what is 0 plus negative 2? Negative 2. Okay. How about 3, f of 3 plus g of 3, what is the y value when x is 3 in the f function? What is the y value when x is 3 in the f function? 1, 2, 3, y is 1, okay. What is the y value when x is 3 in the g function? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, you might not be able to see it. Let me make it a little bit darker. Okay. So what is that, what is that y value? Oops. Negative 1. So the summation of that is zero. Okay, what is the, oh, oh, so that's that one, let's write it up here. f of four plus g of four. Okay, so what is the corresponding y value when x is four on the f function? Well, here x is 1, 2, 3, 4, and y is negative 2. What is the corresponding y value 
when x is 4 on the g function. What is the corresponding y value when x is 4 on the g function? 1, 2, 3, 4. x is 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Okay, so now we're going to graph these. All right. So when, and so this, so the graph will be This will be f plus g. Oops, sorry, you couldn't see that last one. So there's my f of negative 4 equals negative 1. Okay. So this will be uh, f plus g of x. Okay. And let's plot some points. Scoot over here. Get closer. All right. So when x is negative four, so negative four one. So just basically plot the point. So here's negative four, negative one. Okay. The next one negative three, negative one. Okay, negative three, negative one. Okay. Negative two zero negative 2, 0, okay, negative 1, 1, negative 1, 1, right about there, okay, 0, 4, 0, 4, right about there, 1, 1, 1, 1, right about there, 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2, right about there, 3, 0, 3, 0, right about there, now this isn't bingo numbers here, we're uh, plotting points, 4, negative 1, 4, negative 1, right about there. Okay, so this concludes, oops, sorry about that guys. Yeah, it does conclude it now, right? This concludes the video lecture about function composition, okay? And we did the summation of the f and the g functions, and we'll do some more in other videos. Okay, well, thank you for watching, and hope the shaky video did not cause you motion sickness. You have a great evening. Oh wait, let's uh sorry, one more thing. Let's let's connect these dots here. Okay. So let's connect the dots because that's probably what they want us to do. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Now we're done. Alright, well thanks for watching and you have a great day or evening or whatever time it is. Bye bye.